Here's one grumpy little snake. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now, guys? <laughs> Dude, see that? Look at this. There are two Western Diamondback rattlesnakes right here. Hey guys. Snake in your yard? Well, he was. He's right there now in that bucket. Which oh, bucket? No. oh, is he really? Yeah, we love your videos. So do you see his little um, tail? He got yeah. his He's got or... most of his rattles busted up. He did not rattle. Is it a diamondback or a yeah. Mojave? That's what I thought. So where are you going to take him? Oh! <laughs> it's got a really nice orangish red color to it. Screw the lid on. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm going to release him in an area where we have lots and lots of rattlesnakes. And he'll be happy and satisfied. There he is. He will sell. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Alright. Another snake gone. Alright guys, so we have another snake call. I'm headed to it right now. It's actually local in the neighborhood. It's actually a family friend. So, but it is another rattlesnake. I was out picking wildflowers for my madre because she loves her wildflowers and it is that time of year. So, um, yeah, I was doing that, and then he called me and said, hey, yo, I got a rattlesnake in my yard. And they've got a lot of kids, so we definitely want to get it away from them. So they're not fearful people. They're not, like, super, like, scared of the snake, but they just know that it's probably best to not have a rattlesnake chilling in the yard when they have kids running all over the place. So I paused my uh, little wildflower excursion here. Uh, to go help out with some uh, snake removal. So let's go get one more snake removal for this video. See, the problem I didn't really think about is that is the snake bucket. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to take those flowers out when we get there and probably put them on the seat somewhere. This will be interesting. All right, we are currently pulling up to the house right now to just come through the back gate. So, uh, first, <laughs> I had to get these wildflowers out of this bucket. I never see how they grab it. Well, I will gladly show you how I do it. First of all, you just grab it and take it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Got a rattlesnake, huh? Yes! Yep. It was underneath that green bed and my daughter scooted it and then she was like, whoa, it's nice. But it never rattled. Gotcha. Yeah, it is. I saw the photo. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little diamond back, it looks like. Oh, you're all right. You little grumper. You little grumpy pants. Oh, You're all right, buddy. Yeah, she's trying to do the bucket. Oh my goodness. He won't get you. It's just a little Western diamond bag. Okay. Is that is that a diamond? <laughs> Everybody jumps. All right, guys. We have made it to the desert, and we are going to take this little grumpy fella. I can hear him rattling right now, and we're going to take him out and uh, release him. 
So when we're walking these guys out to the desert, we want to be sure we're walking quite a bit. Um, walk through some good vegetation and some good hiding places for these guys that is far away from the road. So that when they're looking for a place to hide, they don't wander into the road and get hit by a car because that's the last thing we want. On the way to the snake hall, there was actually a dead gopher snake in the road, which really sucks every single time. It really bursts my bubble to see dead snakes in the road, but you know what happens, but I try my best to avoid it, especially when there's a snake I just removed. I don't want it wandering into the road and getting itself killed. All right, we got a nice little hole right there. I'm gonna open the bucket. Here, a little bit grumpy. Here's one grumpy little snake. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now, guys? <laughs> Dude, see that? Look at this. There are two Western Diamondback rattlesnakes right here. <laughs> I heard the rattles ticking, dude. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I was just trucking right through this these bushes and there are two completely adult western diamondback rattlesnakes courting right now he's a little bit intrigued by by my hook look how cute he is though the male and you can see the female right under his coils that is so crazy i was like no way i heard the rattles ticking ah well now we're gonna release this guy and uh that's how you know that this place is good, I guess. There you go. See that, guys? Two more Western Diamondback rattlesnakes just like that. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Well, we're going to release this little snake and leave those two lovebirds to do their thing. All right, buddy. Come on. There we are. Look at the little hole behind you. Look at the little hole. I know you want to go down it. All right, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Ready? He's gonna find out that's a hole. And there he goes. All right, safe and sound down the burrow. I'm gonna try to get some video of these two courting because that's actually really, really cool. This female is trying to seduce, I mean the male is trying to seduce the female. That is so cool, man. Just chilling right here, right where I'm releasing this snake. This is the male trying to get the female to breed with him. He doesn't seem to be so interested though. But he wants it to happen. Well, it seems like these two lovebirds are doing their thing. So we are gonna walk away from these guys and let them be in their beautiful little flower patch here. So Anyway, we're gonna walk away, as cool as it is. I got things to do today, but, oh man, it's so cool. I love seeing it every time. I know it sounds perverted, but it's really cool to see different behaviors in these snakes. All right, let's head out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the crappy phone quality at the end. My camera literally died, so I apologize for that. That was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a short video, and we just did some removals, but you guys seem to enjoy the removals. And if you continue to enjoy the removals, uh, be sure to comment down below and let us know. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like on this video. And be sure to go check out our merch. We have some hoodies. We have T-shirts. We have stickers. All that cool stuff. So go check it out. You guys were asking for it before, and it is up. So go check it out. Um, anything helps. And if you do purchase merch and you get it, be sure to send us a photo on Instagram or tag us a photo, and we'll be sure to share it on our YouTube and, uh, and our Instagram, and we'll give you a shout-out. So tag us if you have it. Uh, tag us you wearing it or tag us a photo of you just getting it in the mail any of that would be super cool it's fun to see people who are getting that stuff so uh yeah thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time peace out